Hi guys, today in this video we are going to determine the polarity of SF4 molecule. It's a chemical formula for sulfur tetrafluoride because it is made up of one sulfur atom and four fluorine atoms. So to understand its polarity, we will first look at its lowest structure followed by the shape of this molecule to understand if there is a formation of any poles in this molecule. So when we look at its lowest structure, we see that sulfur atom is in the center because it is the least electronegative atom as compared to fluorine atoms and all the fluorine atoms are arranged around sulfur like this. So they are forming a seesaw shape if you see it in a 3D. So here you can see that it is forming a seesaw shape. So as mentioned, fluorine is more electronegative than sulfur atom. So there will be a dipole moment between sulfur and fluorine. Uh, but the directions of the dipole moments of both these atoms, for this atom and for this atom, they'll cancel out each other's dipole moment because they are in the opposite directions. But when it comes to these two atoms, they cannot cancel out each other's dipole moments because they are po pointing downwards. So they cannot cancel out the uh, dipole moments, which means there is a dipole moment in this molecule and which results in formation of poles in these molecules. So any molecule that has, you know, partial charges like partial positive charges or partial negative charges results in formation of poles, which makes that molecule a polar molecule. Here SF4 also has poles because the dipole moments are not cancelled. So SF4 will also be a polar molecule. And for more videos on lowest structure, polarity, molecular geometry of molecules, subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.